This is A Game. Fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. Hey, all my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel, where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly value, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So what we're talking about is I'm going to reiterate because I'm going to demonstrate to you why black women are always single. If you didn't catch that live stream, you can catch it right here. Um, and we're going, I'm going to demonstrate it because they didn't like when brother Kevin Samuels rest in power, when he said winning was coming, they didn't like it, didn't believe it. Case in point, I got two uh, videos to show you. And from the same TikTok account, but I just want you to watch it. So we gonna share screen real quick. And it's the first one I want you to see. Here we go. What's blowing the fuck out of me currently, like at this moment? The fact that I'm 35 and I'm single. I never thought I'd be 35 and single. Like childhood of me, you can't tell me that I was gonna be 35 and single. I just knew that I would have a husband or not something. Damn. Like why am I single? Where's my husband? Like, that's all I want to know. I never thought, like, and I'm about to bring down my 35th birthday in two weeks. And I'm going to be single. And celibate. And celibate. To top it all off. <laughs> the fuck? I don't Okay. Now what I'm going to do is stop sharing this one. And then I'm going to share the next one. Then we're going to cook. Now what I want you to do is make note of the comment she's replying to says you could be in your own way. If you're 35 and can't find a mate because he got to be six and a half feet, then you're in your own way. That is what she's referring to. So let's listen. Aww. You seem mad that I have a preference of tall men. This video was actually made to be funny and to have a little fun. I'm single by choice. So, yeah, I'm waiting for that tall, handsome blessing from God. Yeah. God, and it seems you're very mad at that. Take that up with your own height. Have a blessed one. Bye. Actually, have the day you deserve. Bye. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing this. Come back to you guys. Okay. What did that all tell you? Remember what I talked about? I talked about not being prepared. I talked about black women always going to be single because of the five areas of a relationship. They don't have it covered. Number one is relationship preparedness. Are you even prepared 
in any way, shape or form or in any aspect of your life to invite someone else into your life or for your life to become part of somebody else's life, which is what a relationship actually is. And then there was the existence within the relationship, just the sexual, the intimacy it part, the part where you just kind of be kicking it or you're just spending time around that person, learning that person, learning that person's personality and all of these things. And then the third one was conflict resolution, where you learn more about this person and the, the things that you don't like about this person's personality and the way that they move and the way that they behave, things they say, things they do. And then there was number four, which was relationship growth, which was planning what are you going to do to get to the next level? Is there a next level to this relationship? If so, what are we going to do to get to it? If not, part five was the dissolution of the relationship. Do we dissolve the relationship? Now, why am I going over all of this? Because this woman, take if you go back, take a look at her. She's not an ugly woman. She's a pretty woman. Okay? She's a pretty woman. Um, she ain't ready for no relationship because if you actually will go to her TikTok, you understand why she's not ready. Then the second video, you don't even have to go through everything else. All you got to do is run it back and listen to the second video that I played the first time. I well, it was made to be funny. You wasn't laughing. And then I'm single by choice. The famous I'm single by choice. No, because if you're single by choice, then we're not complaining about being single. If we're single by choice, it's not a surprise that we're single. This is something that we intended to be at this time in our lives. So we're not complaining about being at a place in my life that I intended to be in my life and was working towards being in my life. Okay? But apparently that's not quite the case. Black women are going to be single. The winter is here because when women like her who have the physical aesthetic that men go for, not wifed up, then there are other issues that are at play as to why she isn't wifed up. As to why the men that have come and gone in her space, in her life, in her, you know what I'm saying? Whether it was a situationship, friends with Benny's or whatever it has been, none of these men, not one of these men have looked at her in the entirety of her adult life and said, I need you to be my wife. I need you to be my wife. I need your feminine energy. I need your insight. I need your, you know what I'm saying? I need the good decision making that you have. I need all of those wonderful qualities that you have. I don't want to live the rest of my life without them qualities coming specifically from you. So I'm going to wife you up and we're going to make it out here in this world as husband and wife. Right? Because see, a lot of these women are not single by choice. When you're not being pursued, then you single because the men collectively have said no to everything but just having sex with you. Because I guarantee you, she got a, a, a phone full of dudes that she can call to give her that late night feel good when she get lonely. I'm sure she can do it. She's pretty enough for it. Okay. Tattoos and all. It's, it, you, don't, you don't need to not have a tattoo to have a man. Matter of fact, it's the tattoo and, and the piercings or whatever that tell them, yeah, I can come over here and, and do exactly what I want to do with this one. But she's not prepared to be nobody's wife. She's not prepared. You can, you can go down this lady's TikTok and see she's not prepared to be no wife. Anytime you let it out your mouth that you're single by choice, you ain't prepared to be no wife. Because wives are always on the market to be a man's wife. Because she has 
She has done the actual work that it take to make sure that she was valuable in and of herself and that she was valuable to the men who would come around looking for a wife, not looking for a whore, not looking for a 304, not looking for a smash buddy, not looking for a friends of many, not looking for a good time, a wife. That is a completely different uh, lens and point of view than men have. When they are looking for just fun and they are looking for just a, a good time, they go for women like her. She cute. She got tats all over her chest. You know what I'm saying? Tats all everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever she's talking about. She's single by choice. Okay. Okay. I'll come through to you with the promise of power. I sure will. I'll do everything nasty to you under the sun that you want done to you. I will do it and do it well. I have you begging for more. I have you calling me. I have you looking for me in daylight with a flashlight. Okay. But what I'm not going to do is take you seriously because too many of them things. Remember that I went through the cheat sheet for the ladies as to how to maintain your value as a woman. She kind of contravened a lot of them. Them tattoos and them nails. Because she had some real long nails in another video. The tattoos and the nails really do it. The age is doing it. Where is this woman at in her life? What is she doing in her life? That a man would look at her and say, I need that a part of my life. And this is what you got to realize, ladies. If men can't look at you and understand that you add value to them, in a way that maybe other women in their past have not added value to them, they're not going to see you as wife material. They're just going to play with you and move on. That's what they're going to do. That's just the way it is. They're going to do it. And this is what she's lamenting about. Why have I not been taken seriously all this time? She's gone. She's not alone. This isn't about picking on her either. There are so many women who are in her shoes, pretty women that have gone down this sexual liberation. I do what I want to do. My body, my choice. Can't no man really tell me what's going on. I run through these Negroes, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then they get to a point where it's like, wait. I kind of want a man to take me seriously. You know, it's getting a little old. These men, yeah, 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 yeah. I can get a lot of sexual attention, yada, yada, yada. We know that. I know that, right? But what about the other parts of the man? What about all of the covering of the man that I want? What about that part? Where's the man that's going to give me more than the, than the eggplant? Where's the man that's going to give me not just the promise of power in the bed, but what about his covering of his provision? What about his problem solving to help me out of my life? What about the protection that I would like to have from him? What about all of the love and the affection aside from the sex? Where's my being held and cuddled and you know, have a man to whisper in you how much he loves you and, and all of this other kind of stuff. Where is that stuff? And these women go down this single independent, I do what I want to do. We partying it up. We living it up because I'm fine and dudes is going to come for me and dudes is going to pay me some attention and I ain't never got to worry about a man wanting me. Yeah, but sexually only. And then they get to a point where they want men to want them for more than that. Only problem is she can't give more than that because she's trained herself not to be able to. She has no skill set that's outside of the 304 skill set. And so men, because she's pretty enough for somebody to come and try with her. And if she present herself a certain kind of way, because, you know, if she if she do the chameleon act, they'd be like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, okay. Well, I can. And if you get into it with her, he'll understand why she was the last Louis bag on the shelf at a at a discount. 
hmm, why don't nobody want this Louis bag? This is a nice Louis bag. This Louis bag has got a discount on it. It looking good from a distance here. Go and pick it up. Go on over there and get it. Go on back. And then you will see how the inside liner coming up. You will see how it ain't really a Louis bag. You will see how instead of an LV, it was really a little W right there. How the zipper ain't really zipping real good. How the hardware ain't really up to par. You know now, but now you done bought it now. So I don't know what you're going to do. Beware of the last Louis bag on the shelf. And that's what a lot of black women are. That last Gucci bag. You wonder why ain't nobody bought it. Go on over there and look. You'll see. But anyway, before we sign off, we I want to draw everybody's attention to the petition that we have against Black Lives Matter as an organization. That link is in the description box. Please go ahead and sign, share, and contribute to that because we are holding them accountable for the $90 million theft that they did for, um, against the black community and then put it in their pockets and the pockets of their friends and family. So once again, go ahead, sign it, share it, and contribute. The link for that petition is in the description box. And also sound off in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. Hey, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.